What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a long time and I know I've been promising a lot of people in the comments that I'm going to do a big update on my 20 gallon, which it is coming. I know it's been over a year, time happened, family, work, all that. But today something crazy happened and this is not the first time it happened, but I wanted to catch it this time. Um, I was working at home, working from home, doing what I do every day and I was noticing in my cichlid, African cichlid tank, my bull, who I call bull, he's a male dominant African uh, yellow lap cichlid, he was just being really aggressive, really aggressive, chasing everyone around in the tank, chasing everyone around in the tank, and I was wondering, it caught my attention, and I was working on my laptop, and I was wondering, why was he doing that? But it only happened one other time. So, some told me I went drool closer to the tank, looking at the tank, looking at the tank, and lo and behold, I have another pregnant, well, holding African cichlid. Um, she is definitely holding. She has the typical signs of a fish holding. Big lump in the bottom of her, um, of her jaw. Um, last time I had this, I, I, at first I freaked out because I had never seen a, a, a African cichlid holding. This happened a few uh, months ago, not maybe a two months ago it happened, you know. So, went through that whole process, learned a lot in that process, and I was praying it happened again. One, I was excited because my tank is healthy, my fish are healthy, my fish are happy enough to where they're breeding. That's, that's the number one thing. If you're trying to gauge your tank, and I know this is just my personal opinion, but if you're trying to gauge your tank and how healthy your tank is, if your tank is breeding and, and spreading life and nothing is dying, that's the number one surefire sign that your tank is good. It's good. I mean, pat yourself on the back. It's dope. You should be happy. Your tank is good. So, immediately what I did, I stopped everything I was doing, put my work to the side, and took the time, which didn't take me long. Normally it takes me a lot. Cause my fish are pretty healthy, but it took me roughly eight minutes to catch her. So what I do, like I did the last time, immediately separated her, put her in her own tank. Luckily I had, the last time I had to go buy a tank quickly and I had to cycle it by using my old media from my actual cichlid tank and some uh, sand from my cichlid tank. Had to pray it was good, but it worked. And I had to get it together within like an hour. And what was crazy, I had never noticed her because I didn't know the how the African cichlids re, uh, responded while being pregnant, how they how the activity was, I wish I'd say. But as soon as I, maybe an hour after I got the tank, got her separating her own tank, she gave birth. She let the fish out of her mouth. So with this one, luckily I was already getting this 10 gallon tank, which was normally my grog tank, I would uh, I was giving it a break and I was gonna get it ready for my turtle, one of my turtle tanks I was gonna, I was getting him, transferring him to a bigger tank. So I had this one available. This is my 10 gallon, I'm gonna keep her in there, let her feel comfortable enough to where she lays her, let the, uh, releases the uh, babies, and then I will give her a couple days and I'll move her back into the big boy tank. And guys, like I say, I am going to give an update on all my tanks because I went from one tank in a year to roughly six or seven. <laughs> so this is going to be a really quick video. I'm going to get some roll, some lines, but B-roll film or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, taking terms. I'm going to give you some shots of the tank. I'm going to give you shots of her. And I'm going to take you on this journey, probably record daily to see when she gives birth. Hopefully, I'm at home when she gives birth and I can catch it on film. But if not... She'll go from a go. We'll go how it goes. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'm shooting this video. No editing. Uh, just putting it out there. So, my links for my social media will be down in below. Uh, click the subscribe button. Click the notification button. Click the like button. And thank you, guys. I'm I'm not gonna say I'm back, but we gonna see. Take it easy. Oh yeah, who that?